Hey, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 3 and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the 18th February 2019 build of the Havoc OS on the Redmi Note 3 and this is based on Android Pie. Now the first thing which I'm gonna talk about here is like you guys know on my previous video on the CR Droid ROM there was a bug. Well that was the like pin or password entering bug. Whenever you reboot your phone if you enter the pin this just shows a black screen. Well, I said that that was that ROM specific bug, that's not true at all, I think. So it comes out to be a like device specific bug. So in some ROMs, like the CR Droid ROM, the bug is like still present. And even if you want like more examples like that, even on the Arrow OS, that bug is present. But on this Havoc OS, this bug is totally not present. I have been testing this ROM for like couple of hours now. And I have restarted my device like multiple times, maybe three or four, just to check that if that bug is present. Well, whenever you restart on those ROMs, that bug just like keeps happening. If you can't re like really unlock the device with the pin. So let me just show you by locking and unlocking it with the pin. Let me just double tap the device to like make it sleep. Let's like on the lock screen, as you can see, this is the lock screen. And here we have the clock and the weather and stuff and the date and let me just swipe up i'm not touching the figment scanner right now because i'm gonna enter the pin so i have entered my pin right now i'll just click this right and as you can see it unlocked fine so let me quickly show you the settings and stuff but this bug is not present over here on the havoc os so you are good to go now let me just show you like over here as you can see the about section is outside of system let's go inside it android version as you can see we have the android version as 9 february 5th 2019 security patch screamer kernel and the havoc version is the 2.2 and the havoc logo is present over here of course and this is the 18th february 2019 build and official one of course and kenzo it says because it's kenzo and let's go into system here again it shows this kind of kenzo sax kind of thing where you will find this like in-depth color control or the color temperature control of the display you have over here and you can really control this with like these kind of settings we have the color temperature red green blue of the screen and contrast and saturation like changing options over here let me just go back and let me just go into like some more stuff like the system updates so this ROM does have the system updater and you can check for updates from here but i'm not sure if you can install them from here you have to like dirty flash it i guess now let me go into security and show you if the face unlock is there or not let's go into smart lock so here as you can see we have the trusted face of course over here and i have flashed the micro g apps let me just add my face to it so i did set up my face unlock and let me just go to home let's try to unlock with my face and boom it unlocks let's do it again boom it unlocks so not really bad with the face unlock and let me show you the figment scanner speed quickly. So it's not the fastest, it takes quite a while to unlock. I think this is because the animation or the light just comes up really slowly as you can see. The backlight of the screen comes up really slowly after unlocking the phone with the figment scanner. So this is not the fastest fingerprint scanner unlocking I have ever seen. So here I would say the Vaulty and stuff does work super fine on SIM slot 1 and 2 like individually and you won't be having any kind of issues regarding Vaulty and let me place a call and show you guys the in-call UI. So here as you can see we have the like in-call UI like this and you can like put the phone into speaker and stuff record call or like put a video call over here. If you were wondering about the recording call option or the video call option yes it is there. Now let me show you the settings and of course this is Havoc OS you guys know that this ROM has a bunch of customizations that you are gonna like need. Now I would say I have like faced some problems with the gestures over here like if I enable this OnePlus or 8 gestures the screen just freezes I can't touch anywhere so for that I have to reboot and stuff. I'm just saying that these bugs are present with the gestures I don't know why it's happening but yeah. If you enable this oneplus gestures or the edge gestures this is just gonna be kind of buggy 
well i did not test it by disabling the hardware keys but yeah that's how it is and three finger screenshot gesture and stuff is there as you can see and we have the system gestures like swipe up home and you, even you have this enable double tap to sleep from the nav bar if you are using the on-screen buttons and let me just go back here you will have like lot of customizations like this like uh, you can change the header of the quick toggles over here like to the accent color like however you want from interface over here let me just find it quickly here as you can see we have the quick setting header style option so you can change it you can change the quick setting like toggle styles over here as you can see a bunch of options are there and font manager we have a lot of fonts as you can see it just keeps kind of scrolling down so there are a ton of fonts over here in this rom no issues regarding fonts and what else we have the background color as automatic light dark shady and glassy and over here you have the theme color option over here as you can see i think you can change the theme color if you want to from here and you can have like these accent color options over here as you can see we have a bunch of accent color options so i think with the shady and glassy yes it says over here that select color for shady and glassy so you can choose these kind of like background colors from here so this is a pretty great option in my opinion and if you go into status bar we have the double tap to sleep and brightness control from the status bar like this is present over here so pretty great feature over here in my opinion and everything is like pretty usable for me at least in this like customization section and if you talk about the stock launcher over here this is basic pixel launcher not even like customizable and this is not the quick step launcher so i mentioned the bug earlier the unlocking bug the with the pin or pattern i think this like that was happening because of the quick step launcher somehow that's just totally my thinking let me know in the comments what do you guys think and over here on this pixel launcher we have the google now cards but you can't really swipe down anywhere to get the quick toggles you have to go all the way up to get the quick toggles over here and if you go into the settings there are no like gestures of double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen so that is how it is but you can of course double tap on the status bar to like make the phone into sleep and regarding google pay well you have to like do some tweaks for the google pay you have to go into the settings then apps info then find the play services app then disable phone and sms app permission from the play services app to like use google pay or set up google pay and regarding the stock camera this is old google camera over here it takes pretty basic pictures but this rom of course does have camera to api so you can install pixel 3 camera or any kind of google camera if you want to on your redmi note 3 if you don't know how to do that here is a card and let me just go into the settings and show you guys the display settings over here here is the display settings we have the double tap to wake of course and nightlight and stuff does work and if i go into advanced there are like not much of stuff we have the adaptive brightness or auto brightness so that is pretty much it inside like display settings and if you go into battery i would say the battery life is kind of average because the device is already pretty old i'm getting around three and a half to four hours of screen on time depending on my usage not like more than that and if you go into sound settings things get a lot more interesting over here and i am really happy to say that the audio direct present over here works amazingly well that like this audio direct this me sound enhancer is almost as good as the redmi note 5 pro's audio direct on custom roms and i would say this is like pretty great earlier one rom had it but i think that's the cr droid or something or the air os i tested i don't remember actually but that rom did not have a proper audio direct because that was kind of like sounding muddy in my opinion but right now on the havoc os this audio direct is really great sound output via the headphone jack is really really amazing and i am really enjoying it so that is how it is let me open pubg now and show you the gameplay performance of this rom and by the way this rom has a lot of customizations like the lock screen power button to toggle torch and like if your phone is locked you can hold like tap and hold the power button to toggle torch that is a really helpful feature for me at least and i really use it on my daily driving and i have to say this rom has a lot of customizations that i would need except for the double tap to sleep on the home screen and like pulling down on the home screen to get the notification panel so other than that everything is working super fine over here so here we have the pubg on zombie mode over here and the maximum you can play is on balanced and medium settings 
or you can play on smooth and high settings. The HD option is not available of course on the Redmi Note 3 and let me start playing on the event the zombie mode I don't know how to do it like how to play it but yeah so here is the zombie mode as you can see let me just reduce the sound a little bit so the sky has kind of dark cloud over here looks pretty cool So after playing for quite a while PUBG the device is getting kind of hot to the touch to the back and I have to say the gameplay is pretty good no issues whatsoever and you guys saw the zombie gameplay mode on PUBG and I think this gameplay is pretty good for a device which is almost three years old so that is it and now let me close the game and open some apps quickly and show you guys the app open up speeds and stuff. And by the way, do keep in mind, I just played PUBG and right now I'm opening the apps. So this may look kind of slow, but that's how it is. So let me open all the apps from memory. And this is the 3GB variant of the Redmi Note 3. And as you can see, the apps are totally in memory no apps are closed from memory so all the apps are in the ram no issues regarding the ram management at all so in this rom as you can see so this rom is pretty great in my opinion you can really flash this havoc OS on your redmi note 3 and like daily drive with it pretty much with anything so in my opinion this is a really good rom let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this rom the rom feels totally like smooth as you can see and if i just scroll down it like this so as you can see the rom is pretty responsive everything feels buttery smooth and you have the camera to api but no google camera is present by default over here so you have to install it separately but other than that other than those things in my opinion this is a pretty amazing rom this is tito from carry and take signing off for today and hit that like button and subscribe button because we are about to hit 15,000 subscribers mark almost nine people needed so pretty much do it guys thank you so much for watching this video so this is tito from carry and take signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now